yeah, da, 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 I don't think I'll be gaining any new subscribers from this one. So I've made it clear in the past I'm not the biggest low fan, so you're probably thinking, well, is there any point in even reviewing it if you're not a fan? But I do want to give them a, tran a, chill, a chance and a try, a trance. Trance, 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 trance. A chance and a try with every album. And each one that they drop, especially as of recent years, just baffles me each time. I'm just continuously struggling to really grip what Low are attempting to do. Maybe they're one of those bands that have dropped a few albums here in the past few years that are like, you know, in five years, I'll go back to and think, man, I was going crazy. These albums were doing something special and I just couldn't work it out at the time of their release and I'm just a fool now and now I wish I was liking them all along. I'm happy to, you know, say that that could happen in a few years because they are making music here that just doesn't really kind of register immediately. So I think it, they, do, they do have the potential to have that impact on me. As of now though, Hey What is very much uh, a Hey What? album for me. I'm just not understanding a lot of what they're doing here, mostly instrumentally but vocally at times as well. I think the singer is just lost in the midst of what's going on and doesn't really have a strong presence behind the microphone to really resonate with me on an emotional level. I feel like some of these tracks could be very powerful in terms of the lyrical themes and things if the, if the voice behind it just carried something special but i just don't hear that he re i just don't i just don't hear it i just don't hear it white horses is the best place to start with that where his voice paired with the instrumental just really doesn't work i just feel like the vocal progression and the melody that he's singing in like over and over again just tires out so quickly and the the instrumental here man the the freaking the the freaking farting noises that are coming out just sounds so grim. It's like these farting explosions just come out of nowhere and it just all sounds so tacky. Like it, it goes like this. It's like do 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 It legit does sound like that to me. It's like it's just like, what is this, man? It's like a friggin' old train from a random village in Wales. And they're like 50 years behind trains that you know today. And you're just sat on it, trying to listen to your music, but you can't hear it over this fucking... <laughs> yeah, baffled by this track, man. Uh, it, it truly is not good to my ears. But um, it, it, it's not the, you know, it, it, it's probably the most confusing moment on the album. The rest of the album doesn't hit that level of confusion, to be fair. I can wait again, just think the vocals could really have a bit more of an oomph to them to really get me feeling it. But I just don't really get that. And then there's like these shimmering synths that come through that could be beautiful, but there's just like this awkwardness to them where it sounds like they're like rubbing together. There's a lot of that on this album actually where like nothing really feels like it's flowing. Like the instrumentals at times can often just feel like it's kind of like, you know, causing friction against itself. It's a really hard thing to describe, but just never really sounds as soft and as smooth as I think it should be. There's like a delicacy missing to this album. Like these tracks should be so like comforting and warm, but you hit tracks like disappearing and it's just like drab as hell. And just man, uh, just, 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 just contains so little to me. The instrumental packs no punch. You get to the track Hey, and it's the same thing, although this one really sucks the life out of me. Like, I'm just so pained listening to this. It goes on for ages as well. And it wanders off for like a few minutes towards the end in this like ambient direction. And it takes you nowhere. And I really mean nowhere. Again, another moment for me where like, I feel like the potential is just lost. Like you could just make this so beautiful. You could bring in some extra instruments to kind of just add to the atmosphere and I just don't think it's there. I feel like, you know, a lot of other albums that attempt this do it much better. You could get this in like a modern classical album too, which would just really, really like enrich the music. And this just has nothing. I'm so shocked as well that the track immediately after Days Like These 
does the same thing again where it just wanders off for the last few minutes. And I'm just like, you just did that on the previous track and not I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really like it then. So of course, hearing it again here isn't gonna go down too well. Before it gets to that point though, I feel like the vocals meld with the instrumental in a really hoarse way. Like it sounds really rough to me. And again, I think this could be done quite well, but there's just something clashing between what the vocals are doing and what the instrumental is doing. A relatively similar thing happens on Wall, where the instrumental sounds very mechanical and unearthly and unnatural. And again, I just think if you just took it in a bit more of a beautiful direction and just kind of brought out the, the beauty in the music instead of just having this kind of like clattering annoying sound just take over the track it might work better it just sounds really inhuman to me and i think it takes a lot out of the emotional impact that the track could have and it could sound cool i mean i'm sure there's other albums out there in the world that would try this and i'd probably enjoy it but i don't know man low just hit it just miss for me when when they try stuff like this i do think all night is probably the closest to getting it right um, there's something about this track that just kind of cascades and then also builds upon itself in a really cool way. Not like the biggest fan of it, but I think out of all the tracks on the album, this was the one track that did strike me a little bit more than some of the others. So yeah, just another low album that I'm just baffled by. I, I just don't really quite get what they're trying to do. They just don't really get it right for me. And I don't know, I, I know a lot of people really like this album. So perhaps reviewing it is probably a bit harsh on you if you're a fan of it and you know you're expecting a positive review. But I don't know, I've got to be honest, man. I've just got to be honest. I've got to say that what Lo are trying to do is just going over my head. Yeah, I've got to go four out of 10. Definitely feel out of the loop with this band though. Like people really love them. I'm just not really getting it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments though. So thank you for watching as always. Like I say, in a few years, I'm willing to go back to it and maybe change my mind if it's worth my time. If there is something about it that strikes me in the long run, and maybe I'd do a video on it as well. Maybe I could be like, hey guys, I like low now. Maybe one day, but for now, not a big fan. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching as always. Uh, consider looking at my Patreon, although this is probably not the video you're gonna wanna do that for. Thank you again. Subscribe if you haven't already and goodbye.